Hi besties. Hi besties. So and welcome to my unedited video. I just want to rant. <laughs> I don't even know what I'll title this video yet, but it's first of October here yeah? and I have just been thinking. <sighs> Yeah, this video started on a low note, but well, let's. I just want to, I just want to rant. I just want to remove some things from my chest. Yes, and it's concerning my country, Nigeria. Yes, I deliberately try my best to stay away from news about Nigeria, the government, and everything. Because every time I, I, every, every time I try to like. Uh, pay attention let me put it that way every time i try to pay attention my mental health is like i can't just take it things are just so bad and the funny thing now is the government i'll put it that way the government are not even doing anything yeah it's just like we don't have we don't have a government we we only have ourselves there's nothing that works in this country it's October 1st and honestly in my opinion there's nothing to celebrate there's nothing to celebrate as a country anybody doing uh, October 1st sales I'm having independence independence where independence where I'm just I try I deliberately try to stay away from Nigerian news I do not watch the news anymore because of my mental health I do not watch any Thing concerning the last time I actually was active was during the election, and <laughs> oh god, that was another big, big. I had so much hope for Nigeria, I had so much hope for Nigeria, but I'm still hopeful, but hopeful, and I'm not putting too much thought into it. I don't know why I'm doing this video, but I just want to get it out of my chest. I just want people i don't know if i just want to know if people are feeling this way or i'm just the only one feeling this way cost of living prices of things are getting high business owners have been frustrated every day i am a business owner and it's so frustrating i cannot lie price of oil as it has not even quadrupled it has i don't even know the word to use and i'm just it's so overwhelming i'm so overwhelmed and sometimes i just i just feel like i am not i am i do <laughs> i'm trying not to i don't want to edit this video i just want to post it like that because i just want to show you tell you how i feel and i want to let's say encourage because me i'm not encouraged i need i need you to encourage me that's why i'm making this video i need you guys to encourage me i saw a video something that made me really think so much today was the video i saw on arise tv if you know arise tv just go to their youtube channel and you'll see what i'm talking about they analyzed the uh naira to dollar from the year 90 from the 1980s till now and you guys i remember the time my father was telling me about um the dollar and the naira yes that there was a time that the naira got so bad listen on that there was a time that the naira got so bad that it became one naira to a dollar and i'm like what the naira got so bad it was today that i saw that arise thing i realized that my daddy was not joking <laughs> a dollar a, a dollar was lower than naira. naira was like at the top of the food chain in foreign exchange and where are we now a, a naira is one thousand a, a, a dollar is one thousand naira and we are just looking at it like that everything is going south and nobody's talking about it we cannot import things anymore we cannot uh, import things as we used to do before because the dollar rate has the dollar keeps frustrating us we have uh, the small money you have cannot even do anything you cannot i wonder how people businesses are stopping up because right now 
I find it difficult to stock up wigs. I've even not stocked up for a while. I only do, if you want to buy, you tell me about what you want to buy and I order it for you. That's what I do right now. And I'm just being plain and honest. If I have it on ground, I tell you, okay, I have it on ground. This is what I have. If I don't have it, I'll tell you, I don't have it. You give me some time. I'll tell you the price it is now and sell to you. That's what I do now because stocking up is now difficult. What is helping me in my business is my revamp and my wig making and my and my everything. That's why I always tell you guys to learn a skill at least. Learn a skill at least so that when everything goes to south, you have something that you can do with your hand that can fetch you small money. So you don't go broke and you don't go for you don't frustrate yourself. So many things are happening in the country. I wonder how people are actually living and surviving. I wonder how how the how the common man is surviving in this country. <laughs> um palm oil is now gold <laughs> palm oil see there was a time that i could take twenty thousand naira. i'm not joking i could take twenty thousand naira to the market to stock up to buy things for the month i would even buy conflicts i would even buy i for two people i would even buy conflicts i, I could even buy biscuits like those I could buy milo but now you cannot try it you cannot buy you cannot how much is how much is a basket of like a small paint um paint four liter paint container of tomatoes now in your area now i'm talking to the nigerians here or i'm just talking to everybody in fact i know it's hard everywhere i know the, the cost of living is going up but nigeria it is worse in nigeria yes it is worse in Nigeria and the governments are not doing anything about it. The government is not doing anything about it and it's so frustrating. Healthcare in Nigeria is so bad. I heard a story of somebody that was that was um in a situation with kidnappers or one chance as they call it. I don't know if they were kidnappers they wanted to steal from her and, and they threw her out of the bus, a commercial bus, and people rushed her. She was still conscious. People rushed her to a hospital. And guess what? This hospital shut their doors against this woman and she died she ended up dying a young lady died because the hospital did not take care of a lot of things happening in this country and nobody is doing anything about it we are just we are just here saying um let's leave it to god um uh, uh, once it, during the election i was so pissed at some people i was so pissed at some people but i won't go into that people are just living like the government owe them nothing the government actually owes us explanations that's what we do not understand it. this video is getting too long the government owes us explanations the government owes us accountability and we are not holding them responsible you are telling them and they are it's looking as if you do not know what they are talking about uh we are too young they i do not understand who who else who else is the we like powerhouse of a nation. Is it not the youth? Who else will call you out for your um wrong or your for your shortcomings? Is it not the youth? You say we are too young and uh, uh, ah, I'm so exhausted. I just came to rant so that I get it out of my system and I go back to my life and keep believing God because I know that we got all things are possible, but we need to do our part as humans we need to at least help god we need to do our part as humans we cannot just be relying on god will not come down and and move things we need to do things for ourselves i just hope i i i am able to encourage you as you are able to encourage me yes it's going to get better it's going to get better i just pray that it gets better for us as individuals and as a nation also because there's no independence to be celebrated this we are not independent let me i don't know how to say it but it feels like we are we are just wasting just like a, how how a how how would i put it now how a child that is not supervised will just waste their waste their youth waste their life and when they get to old age when everything has as um ended when all the fun has ended you start realizing that oh this is what i should have done 
I feel like if Nigeria is not careful, it will get to that point when everything is done, when the oil has gone, when everything is gone, would the government will realize and who would who would it who would feel this thing most? It is the youth, it is us, the people that will feel it more because trust me, those people who have houses abroad, those people who have families abroad, they have majority of the, their families are abroad. They have houses ab abroad so let us i don't know what i don't know i just need encouragement you guys should encourage me because this october first the only thing i'm excited about in this october is that it is my best month and i'm going to be celebrating my birthday personally and i'm going i'm grateful to god i'm i'm alive and i'm healthy i'm and better than my last year yes so that's just oh yeah but this is an unedited video video i hope i did not talk too much i hope i get a encourage, please encourage me because i need encouragement please if you have deals if you have deals that you can throw to me i can do anything <laughs> like i cannot do anything. i can do anything concerning hair anything concerning hair wigs anything i even love her training just yeah so nigeria at 60 watts it is well it is well it is well it is well with nigeria i'm just here to say it is well with nigeria things will get better by god's grace things will get better for us as a people by god's grace this will get better for the country by god's grace everybody would smile there is light at the end of the tunnel by god's grace yes thanks for listening to my rant thanks for not <laughs> thanks for just listening to me because i just needed to be heard please leave a comment in the comment section if to encourage me and to just air your own to just say what's on your mind also because it is well yeah thanks for coming to my <laughs> to my chat box will i say chat box but thanks for listening anyways yeah bye besties being the best version of yourself till my next video bye please subscribe to my channel to encourage me subscribe like this video and leave a comment yeah bye